Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the winter in South Florida. It's February 1st, 80 degrees. So it's nice and sunny. What can I say? It's amazing to live here. Today, we're gonna be exploring the crossings. It's a suburb, 30 minutes outside of downtown Miami. And we're gonna be checking out three different properties at three different price points so you can see what may fit with your budget. I'm gonna show you the Crossings Neighborhood Country Club, which is amazing. I will be uh, talking about the schools, so you are gonna wanna stick around till the end to see, to be able to get a feel for everything, the entire neighborhood and all of that. My name is Michael Valencia with La Macchia Realty, and this is Living in South Florida. Welcome. If this is your first time to the channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in South Florida. So the Crossings is the small suburb that is, has about 23,000 residents, right? Pretty small area and is comprised mostly of three communities. Just three communities make up the crossings. And it's Calusa, the crossings, which I'm currently in right now, and Devonair. So I'm gonna be showing you a property in each one of those communities. We're gonna start out with the crossings. There's only one patio home that's gonna be available. It's actually gonna be my listing. And you can see that it's, all of this community was developed in 1979. From there, you they built villas, single family homes or patio homes and estate homes. This single family home right here that I'm walking by, this one's actually gonna be my listing. So if you want any other information, you can actually check out another video that we're making. It's a full detailed listing video so you can see everything that this home has to offer. But this one's gonna be going on the market for 520,000. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1,500 square feet, two car driveway and a one car garage. The cool thing about this neighborhood is that there's six individual pools, community pools, built around the community that are surrounded by homes. So all the neighbors that live around that pool can basically walk out their backyards through their fence and go enjoy the pool. That, and you don't even have to maintain it yourself. You're paying part of it in the HOA. The HOA payment here is $233, but it includes an amazing, amazing country club that has four tennis courts, two basketball courts, racquetball courts, a playground, an Olympic size lap pool, a gym, kitty park, a mile and a half trail that you can ride your bike or go walking. And then if you want to relax on Sunday afternoon and go fishing, it has a two acre lake stocked with fish with a pier that's being fully remodeled right now. I'm going to walk over there and show you guys what this community has to offer. While we're here, and as I make this long walk, I might as well talk about the schools. The Calusa Elementary School has about 800 students and it's currently rated a 10 out of 10. You can see that there's a fence right there and that that's a common green area. That roof you see behind me, that's actually where the pool is located and all these homes around this street will share that pool. But you have the Calusa Elementary School with 830 students, rated 10 out of 10. The Arvita Middle School with 1,400 students, that's rated nine out of 10. And the Miami Killian Senior High School has over 1,600 students uh, and it offers a magnet program and a career academy. So it's an amazing place to go to school here. So every day we get phone calls and emails from people just like you looking to make their move to South Florida. And we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. All of my information is in the description below so I can help you make a smooth move to South Florida. Like I mentioned to you guys in the beginning of the video, we are in the crossings a suburb of Miami. This is stop number two. Um, I'm actually gonna be showing you Devon Air. This is the Devon Air community. This community is mostly comprised of townhomes and villas. I'm gonna be showing you what the properties for sale actually look like. This, these are all built in 1979. They're mostly three and two bedrooms because of the age. One of the homes that I'm gonna show you, we actually just closed on it last week. So I, I represented the buyers in this transaction and we were able to negotiate the price down $35,000. The asking price was $435. We got it for an even $400,000. So it's actually this corner lot right here. You see behind me, it's a three bedroom, two bath, $400,000. It's about 1,225 square feet. 
which puts it at about $326 per square foot. The HOA here, wait for it, is $400 per year. It's about $33 per month. Now, this is plenty of guest parking. You have guest parking all around the community. The reason why the HOA is so low is because there aren't really any amenities here, right? There's no clubhouse, there's none of that. There's just a lot of big open green areas. Now, I am gonna show you a lake right back through here so you guys can kind of see the beautiful things that this community has to offer. The cool thing about the HOA also being so low is that they mo they want people to care for their properties kind of like if they were single family homes, right? And like, you know, you're basically responsible for the yard and the back and everything, but they only take care of the front of the property. Now for all of this being on townhomes, you're gonna like this, ready? Check this out. It's actually a freshly nice kept lake. They do have some natural life. A lot of people go paddle boarding. There's people that actually go swimming across the entire lake. There's no alligators, no crocodiles like that on this particular lake. But yeah, look, that person actually has a paddle board. Some people make little beach entries. I don't know if you can see right back there. You can actually have a nice little beach entry into this lake, but it is amazing to be, to have something like this in your backyard. Again, the schools assigned to this area are all A rated. 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, and then magnet schools with uh, career academy included. So this is Devon Air. I'm gonna drive by, kind of show you guys the community a little bit more, and then we're gonna drive over to Calusa. I'll see you at the next one, guys. All right guys, welcome back to my last stop for today at the crossings. Right now we have made it into the Calusa community, uh, which is coincidentally named the same as the elementary school. So at the time of me recording this video, there's absolutely no other homes, single family homes available for sale in the Calusa community. There is only one that we're gonna be getting ready to walk by in a few minutes. I just wanted you guys to kind of see exactly what the streets and the neighborhood look like. Now, right here at the Calusa community, this is built actually around a golf course, but one of the best things is that you don't need a membership. So there's no membership required for the, to live on a golf course. These are state homes, so meaning they have a pretty big property, especially for down here in South Florida. Uh, the one that's for sale is 0 0.3 acres. Uh, some are half an acre, some are a little bit more or less. And then some of the single family homes that are not directly on the golf course, those tend to go for sale around the 600,000 price range. Uh, so there are a little bit smaller lots, a little bit smaller homes, but um, yeah, they tend to be a little bit more affordable. This one that we're gonna come by, is actually five bedrooms, four bathrooms, built on 0 0.3 acres and it's $1 million. Now. I mentioned we're on a golf course and no membership is required well there's actually no hoa either so to be right on this community with you know surrounded by so much greenery that uh, is always very well maintained it's actually pretty nice to not have to worry about paying an hoa we're also remember we're still part of an unincorporated date so the property taxes are still low there's no CDDs, there's no extra special taxes. So that keeps your property taxes low. And the cherry on top is you still get 10 out of 10 schools with that low property tax rate. Now, that is the property that I'm talking about right there, built in 1980. Again, five bedrooms, four bath for $1 million. And then the next door neighbor looks like it was just fully renovated recently. I have to show this house because it is gorgeous looks like it's got brand new roof hurricane impact windows um all freshly nicely done on the front but yeah this is it this is the calusa community at the crossings suburb of miami showed you guys a property at 400,000 in devon air showed you my next listing that's coming up 
the crossings and the subdivision is called patio homes that one's going to be on the market for 520 and now here at calusa we're going to be going for one million dollars because again there's no other homes for sale in this market so stick around next week we're actually going to be go checking out uh, coral springs there's a new listing that i'm going to be putting in the market up there and i'm going to do a full video of coral springs if you have any other ideas or suggestions, any other area that you want me to take a look at, please comment below. I'd love to go out there and uh, do some research for you, take some videos. Don't forget to shoot me an email, hit the like button. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Stay tuned.